Chapter 9 Absorption Costing and Marginal Costing Study objective after studying this chapter, you should understand 9.1 Definition of Absorption and Marginal Costing 9.2 Comparison between Absorption and Marginal Costing 9.3 Determine the cost of the product 9.4 The format of the income statement and 9.5 Advantages and disadvantages of absorption and marginal costing For this part, we only cover for the theory section We look into the definition of absorption and marginal costing Absorption costing is all of the manufacturing costs are absorbed by the units produced. Absorb the fixed manufacturing overhead cost as a part of the cost of the product. Also refer as a full costing or the full absorption method and comply with general accepted accounting principle or G. A -A -P. Let's look what you have the item inside the absorption costing. You have a direct material cost per unit, direct labor cost per unit, and a variable factory overhead cost per unit. The three items also known as a variable manufacturing cost. And they have to plus with a fixed factory overhead cost per unit as a fixed manufacturing cost. This will be the total product cost per unit under absorption costing. For the definition, marginal costing is only direct material, direct level, and variable manufacturing overhead as a cost are considered product costs. Fixed manufacturing overhead costs are recognized as period costs or as expenses and this is not including as a part of the product cost under marginal costing. It's only for internal use by the management. An item inside the marginal costing to calculate the total product cost is only on a variable manufacturing overhead only, which include direct material cost, direct labor, and variable factory overhead cost per unit. The difference between absorption and marginal costing is, is in terms of Product costing, inventory valuation, and income statement. Advantages and disadvantages, we look into the absorption costing. Advantages of absorption costing follow GAAP and is more suitable for external reporting purposes. Includes fixed manufacturing overheads, cost in valuation of product cost. Disadvantages for absorption costing is not suitable for management performance evaluation. Calculation of fixed overhead based on estimation and can make the information regarding product cost not accurate. We look into the marginal costing. Advantage under marginal costing help management for planning, controlling, and decision making. Differentiate costs between variable costs and fixed costs. Effect sales changes on net profit easily to identify. It show changes in margin contribution. While well, Disadvantages for marginal costing 
limited to internal user only and reporting not follow GAAP and differentiate cost behavior between variable cost and fixed cost difficult and usually it based on estimation.